A miracle happened at the Beta Breakers last year. Ken Bike's life was saved, but by who? Kim Coyle has a dramatic story that finally came to a close three days ago. Ruth, <laughs> so good to meet you. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> I can't believe this. For Ken Bike, it took an entire year to meet his <laughs> true so guardian angel. <laughs> This is wonderful. <laughs> I thought, I didn't think I'd cry. <laughs> Her name is Ruth Rogers, a woman among the crowd who watched as bike collapsed at the finish line after competing in last year's Bay to Breakers. He was stricken with a massive heart attack and for 20 crucial minutes, bike showed no signs of life until Rogers sprung into action with powerful force. I'm, I'm just blown away that you had no idea I had made it. So that makes it all the more powerful and I'm glad I persevered in getting in touch with you. We do lose some patients as anesthesiologists and you grieve for everyone to different degrees. I grieved pretty hard after that, so it's a big shock. After undergoing quadruple bypass surgery, Bike was discharged from the hospital in six days. At 53, he is in excellent condition and was ready to put his body to the test again, running in the 2011 Beta Breakers. I've wanted this day for a year now, for over a year, to be able to say thank you. She took charge of the people, other people who were trying to help me out. The reunion of Bike and Rogers took place at Menlo Park. Accompanying him, his dog Riley. Bike's year-long search for his savior has earned him a friend for life. Well, I got a call and it was a combination of feeling like I was hallucinating and <laughs> couldn't possibly be real and kind of like there were chills going down my spine. You're a true hero, oh. what you did. I know medical professionals are modest and don't want to take credit for things, but what you did, I would not be standing here today. <laughs> We'll be back to wrap it up on game day with this week's They Said It Award.